Okay guys, welcome to my tool shed at uh, La Ferme des Quatre Tins. So these are all the tools that we use on the farm to cultivate, do the bed prep. Uh, there's one walk behind tractor missing because it's out in the fields. Uh, a lot of new stuff that I've been testing and trialing for the last two, three years. Um, and a lot of stuff that is there but we don't actually use anymore. The shoveling hose, I think we've used two or three times this summer. And we've replaced them with all sorts of different implements. The Teratec uh, double wheel hose. And uh, there's also the Two Bad Cats flex tine weeder back, back there that's really awesome. Uh, we've kind of moved away from the Jang seeder just to be more efficient and replace it with the Triple Gang seeder because it seeds five times faster. And we have a lot of, you know, here on the farm, I think I've told you this before, but there, you know, there's 450 perma beds, all 100 feet long, and when it's time to seed, just there's a lot of them to, to do, so we want to be efficient at it, so we move to that. What else here, what else can I show you? Um, oh, this, this also. This for me was a big, big, big changer because we actually end up doing a lot of spraying on the farm. We're spraying compost tea, or we're spraying for against mildew, and uh, we're spraying seaweeds, and sometimes we spray biopesticides. And we used to do everything with a backpack sprayer, which is fine, but this is at least 10 times faster to do the same thing. So, and it's an inexpensive, uh, com, uh, you know, very, what's the word? Very, like you can find it anywhere. Oh, uh, a common. Common. Uh, so that was also uh, quite a chain changer. And um, yeah. So you want to just go around what, and... What, what, what did you say? What was the tools that you said you don't use anymore? The what hose? The, the shovel hose? Yeah. The, what the hell's that? Well, the shoveling hose. Like the hose. These guys. Oh, stirrup hose. Stirrup hose. You're just not, you're not using them anymore. No. We, we rarely... Just don't need to. Just don't need to. Is that because of stale seed bedding? Stale seed bedding, but also because we use the flex time meter. Yeah, the flex time once it's in, in bed. And uh, the Teratec wheel hoe with the bio discs. It's just, it just allows us to really zoom down and cultivate on the row mm -hmm. also. So we, we did use them. I like those. These are from Two Bad Cats. It's a little company in Vermont. So it's a wire hoe. Uh, but what's great about it is that there's three functions to it. There's the, you know, f five inch is it not five? It's like three and a quarter, yeah, I think. Yeah. But you also have one inch, or you can have really the single wire reader. Interesting. So it has the three of it on them, and it's quality made. You can replace those if they break. The shaft is is really different. It's really light. I like them a lot. I think this company does really cool stuff. We also have a roller dibbler from them that we use on the farm. Yes, this right here. Let's. I'll show it. So what do you use the roller dibble for? Uh, you know, we... Hey, Mitchell. Oh, yeah. Good. No, no, it's, no, no good. it's fine. We use the roller dibbler to mark our rows, both lengthways and sideways. And so we used to do this with the rake, the 30 inch rake, which is fine. There's no problem with that, but this goes a lot faster and you can easily adjust it. And so we can do four rows, six inch on the row, three rows, 12 inch on the rows, and then we just roll it out, and then you really clearly speed, see the spacings when we're transplanting. Wow. So this is again, Two Bad Cats, really cool little company. And um, really satisfied with those. You know, all, through all, I'm, I'm getting a lot of tools, I'm trying, I'm testing them. That's part of my work here on the farm is to figure out, I don't want to say better ways, but just more efficient ways to do the same things. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, I'm passionate about that. Let's check, what, what about this big roller? I saw this yeah, on your okay. Instagram in the so winter and I was like, that's a big that's and a cumbersome tool. Okay, so this was, because I was, I was looking for a roller dibbler. I don't know if I'll, okay, I'll, it's a lot of explanation, but these are water wheels that you would find on a mechanical transplanter from Rainflow. Okay, so these go on a bigger tractor 
and on a transplanting machine, they're filled with water, and as it rolls, it, it, pu it punches a hole, and then it fills the hole with water, and then the transplant goes into them. Mm -hmm. And the whole setup for this, this way of doing things is to create a hole, a square hole, where the plant just drops in. And then you're not pressing against it. It's just like you're dropping the yeah. seedlings inside the holes. And I wanted to do this on the farm here. But unfortunately, because I don't have the weight of the tractor pressing down on it, the holes were never kind of deep mm -hmm. enough or clear enough to really just put the transplant in and not touch it. Mm -hmm. And so, and it, it's quite heavy as it is. So to put water in it or more weight was just kind of cumbersome. So it's kind of a, an experiment that I'm putting on the side and we went pretty much with a s much lighter dibbler and we're just transplanting uh, you know, faster that way. How did the plastic mulch layer work out? I remember I tried that out with you a couple years ago at your place, at, the, at your home farm. What about that thing? You still using it? L last time we tried this was again, like you said, just you and I. <laughs> that last was the last time, 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 last time I used it. <laughs> Uh, I just, I'm not relying a lot on black plastic yeah. on the farm. We use a lot of landscape fabric. You can reuse that. Um, so I haven't played with it. I also have another one from Joel at Earth Tools that is connected, this one here, is connected to the, um, the BCS walk behind tractor. Mm -hmm. And Joel was really cool to give it to me so that I could try it, but I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. And I promised him I would. So it's on my bucket list, but I don't know. I like landscape fabric perhaps more. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's okay. So that's that. So this, I don't want to say this is the junkyard, but this is, these are kind of the tools that I'm not using a lot of. Like this red dragon flame weeder was not to my liking. So yeah. I'm not using it. Um, the flame weeder I like, I use, but I don't use it all the time. So it's kind of not. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's the tool wall. That's the tool wall. Cool. And more to come later.